it's celiac awareness week and i think i speak for some of the wider celiac community by saying having celiac sucks but it's not who i am it's hardly my identity this disease doesn't really belong to me it just happens to be something that happens inside my body and i'm still figuring it out in all honesty i think back to about a year ago when I had a letter pushed through the door that in short said, moving forward, Mrs. Davis, you will be required to follow a gluten-free diet for the rest of your life. And the overwhelm kicked in when I realized there was nothing in my little kitchen that resembled gluten-free living. And at that point, my main concern wasn't managing a lifelong diet, but rather what we were having for tea that night. See, with celiac, it's a meal at a time, am I right? And you never get a meal off, lest you suffer for it for days, weeks, and possibly even months. Just one crumb will do plenty, as you probably already know. And it's not just your toilet habits that go a bit crazy when you've got gluten in your belly, it's the itchy skin rashes, occasional facial tingling or paralysis, and often full body weakness, amongst other things. I lost almost a stone in just over a week once, several months ago. And it took me about three months to get over it fully. It hasn't always been an easy ride since diagnosis either. To be fair, most people look at you like you've got 10 heads when you say your dietary requirements are gluten-free. No cross-contamination, please, cause, well, I've got an autoimmune disease. And they smile somewhat uneasily, and you know what they're likely thinking? Oh, you're one of them. Yes, I am. But not by choice by the way. It's definitely not my dietary preference to say the very least, rather a consequence of something beyond me. The luxury of preference has paled into insignificance since I started being one of them. And you don't have to feel that you inconvenience people at times like any social event that was ever created. You know what it's like when you're presented with a plate of dry gluten-free crackers and a block of cheese maybe a cured meat platter if you're very lucky, but at least you're included, and it's true. That means the world to me sometimes, just being there and invited. Other times you bring your own mini buffet to a party and people ask you why, and then ask if they can try your special food as they reach for all your good, free from snacks with crumb-filled hands disaster. One more step, mate, and you're having it. Keep your grubby mitts off it. it would be nice to not have to worry about it once in a while, if I'm completely honest. But I'm determined to not let it stop me from living. With or without gluten, it can't really have any bearing on who I am. So if I'm becoming more aware of anything the Celiac Awareness Week, it's the comparative smallness of this disease in the grander scheme of things. What do I mean? I mean it to say that this is just one small part of my life and it can all too easily override everything if I'm not careful. I've often been so fearful of eating the wrong thing that I don't always end up eating anything and that's never a good thing. I can't be so aware that I'm consumed by it because I've been there too. So I'm just working through it, trying to find the balance between having it not being dictated by it outside of my dietary habits. How important I make it or how much space it takes in my life, it's really up to me to decide. I, I don't know if any of this makes sense because I'm still trying to make sense of it all. I just know that life can't be all about celiac. So I guess what I'm saying is be aware, yeah. Be healthy, but don't let it hold you back. And if you're someone who doesn't have it and you want to know more about it, why not talk to someone with it? Strike up a conversation, go for a coffee and gluten-free cake date, you might come to learn something. So, there's some gluten-free food for thought from my brain to yours. You've got this. You've also got a lot more to you than this. I'm pretty sure of it.